Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Secret History. Please check the description to know more about the channel. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. On the territory of the Sahara Desert, there was a highly developed civilization of the Garamantes. Herodotus mentioned this tribe. A great kingdom of the Harmans, with a high level of cultural development extended from the Atlas Mountains to the borders of Egypt. The civilization had tunnels for water supply under the desert from Sebha in Libya, to the oasis of Gat near the Algerian border. The total length of the system is about 1600 kilometers. These tunnels were cut in the rock more than five millennia ago, which coincides with the date of the origin of Egypt. The clay disk of Phaistos was excavated on Crete in 1908. Its symbols do not refer to any Cretian script, and the clay it is made of is not found on the island. In 2001, there was information about a find of the Vladikavkaz disc, but the scientific world did not recognize the find, and the author was accused of forgery. And in 2020, in the Ryazan area, has found a new clay disc, similar to that of Phaistos. The author showed his find to the local museum, where he was reassured that any controversial object found not by archaeologists is not recognized by academic science. We must first call specialists, they will begin an excavation and draw up the papers according to all their rules. The Ryazan disc does not look like a fake, just put in the ground. But where is Crete and where is the Ryazan region? An inconvenient find for historians, which is better to declare a fake, not to study. Who created the cradle for the Assyrians in the Turkish town of Egil? Here is a megalithic fortress, carved into the rocks. Assyrian history begins in 2300 BC. Megalithic fortress with rooms hollowed out in the rock, corridors, staircases, required an enormous amount of work. A tunnel cut through the rock too. The builders did not leave the surrounding rocks untouched. Somehow they gave them a perfect cone, pyramid or trapezoid shape. It is unreal to make such things with primitive tools. But if the tools were more technologically advanced. Maybe the historians did not calculate the level of development of civilizations. Amazing artifacts from the Cairo Museum of Antiquities. The ancient Egyptians left behind a rich heritage, but among it, you can find some finds that are very difficult to explain from the position of the official versions of history. Sometimes such artifacts end up on the shelves of the Cairo Museum of Antiquities, where they have been noticed and photographed by attentive people. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Baghdad Battery In 1936, a strange-looking vessel corked with a concrete plug was discovered in Baghdad. Inside the mysterious artifact was a metal rod. 
Subsequent experiments have shown that the vessel functioned as an ancient battery, because by filling a construction similar to the Baghdad battery with electrolyte available at the time, it is possible to obtain electricity of 1 volt. Now you can argue to whom the title of founder of the doctrine of electricity belongs, because the Baghdad battery is 2000 years older than Alessandro Volta. Horizontal traces on the steep walls are clearly not from a chisel or other hand tools. Such traces are left by the tunneling equipment. One version is that the excavation was made by a road header. But the historical chronicles tell us that the mountain Nokajiri is simply an Edo period quarry in Japan, 1603 to 1868, and they're simply cut out the tuff by hand. Archaeological investigations in the area of Pompeii are delightful. Not everyone is happy, because the plumbing system with taps, valves, and faucets, similar to modern ones, does not fit much into the history of technological progress. Valves were created in the 18th century, faucets in the 13th, and in Pompeii, they already existed 2000 years ago. Archaeologists dig out, and then the scientists have to think how to explain the findings and not to destroy the foundation of a coherent chronology. In Nepal, there is a gorge that is even larger than the Grand Canyon. There, at a height of 50 meters, there are thousands of holes right in the rock. No entrances, ladders, or climbs. To get there, scientists could only with mountaineering equipment, stumbling upon an ancient city in the rocks. To answer how a certain people could hollow out a city in the rock a few thousand years ago, and how they lived at such a height without any means of ascent, the officials could not say. The catacombs of Paris are believed to be the quarries of the past, where human remains were later stored. I suggest confronting the official history with trivial mathematics. According to rough estimates of experts, the remains of 6 million people lie in the dungeons, and this only in the studied section of 11 kilometers. In the 18th century, fewer than 500,000 people lived in Paris, in 2020, 2 million. Where did 11 million bodies come from? We can assume the corpses were brought here from all the neighborhoods for many centuries, but the age of all the remains is almost the same, which means they died in the same period of time. If only we knew what happened almost three centuries ago, which destroyed millions of people all at once. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.